Have you ever thought how our everyday gadgets can be used to mess with the internet? Picture this. A bunch of connected devices team up to cause chaos online. That's exactly what happened in 2016 with the Mirai botnet attack on Dyn, which is a cloud-based internet performance company. The attack caused widespread disruptions across major websites like Twitter, Amazon, Netflix, Spotify, and many more. Today, we are going to break down what went down and how it affected the internet security landscape. Let's know a little about the botnet and DDoS attacks. The botnet word is a combination of two words, robot and network. It represents a network of compromised machines or devices controlled by a central entity. It was created in 2016 by three university students looking to attack various gaming servers and networks. These students established the botnet by gaining control of an estimated 145,000 internet connected devices via malware. Let's understand about DDoS attacks. DDoS attack is like having too many people trying to enter a store at the same time. Imagine if the entrance get crowded and it becomes impossible for regular customers to get inside. Similarly, in a DDoS attack, a website or an online server is flooded with too much traffic, overwhelming it and making it slow or completely unavailable for normal users. DDoS attacks utilize a botnet to flood the targeted server with overwhelming amount of traffic, causing disruptions and making the server slow or completely inaccessible to legitimate users. On October 21, 2016, at approximately 7 a.m., cyber criminals leveraged the Mirai botnet to launch a DDoS attack on Dyn. Cyber criminals commanded the devices within the botnet to send tens of millions of requests to Dyn's system and overwhelm its infrastructure. As a result, over 50 major internet platforms serviced by Dyn become temporarily inaccessible to users. The incident continued throughout the day as the cyber criminals launched two additional attack against Dyn system in the afternoon and evening. While Dyn was able to resolve these issues, it caused large damage to them. DDoS attacks can cost as much as $22,000 per minute of downtime they cause. While the exact recovery expenses for this incident are unclear, organizations spend an average of $2.5 million recovering from DDoS attacks. The attack taught the world several valuable IoT security lessons. First, devices should always be able to have the software and passwords updated. If these features cannot be updated, these devices should not be implemented as they are too vulnerable to attacks like this. Users should not be allowed to keep default credentials. It becomes easier for attackers to gain unauthorized access. IoT devices should require a unique password per device. If one device is at risk, the others stay safe because they have different passwords. It's like having a unique key for each of your doors. If you learned something new today, smash that subscribe button and also like and share for more videos like this. See you in the next one.